Over the years, Canadian athletes have built a reputation for being some of the best-dressed competitors at the Olympics. Remember the Roots poor boy, poor boy caps that flew off the shelves in past Winter Games? Well, back in 2005, the Canadian Olympic Committee replaced Roots with the Hudson's Bay. But judging by today's response to the athletes' outfits for this summer's Beijing Games, the COC might want to consider getting back to its roots. It's too glarish, it's too loud, far too loud. Pretty scary looking? <laughs> Pretty scary looking. Halloween costume? No, it's not a Halloween costume. It's the official clothing for Canada's athletes. They're all just staring at me at the bus. At the Beijing Olympics. And for many people, they're glad it's athletes, not themselves, who have to walk around in this fusion of Canadian and Chinese symbols. Oh, yeah. Well, that's pretty abstract. <laughs> what does it look like? Uh, like a 70s leisure suit. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's very loud. The clothing line was designed by the Hudson's Bay's Tu Li, the former Roots designer who was lured over to the bay. The clothing incorporates the five elements of Chinese astrology, the lucky number eight, and is made from eco-friendly fabric. It stretches, wicks perspiration, repels the sun, and is odor-resistant, which is an added bonus for athletes. There's also a headband that can double as a mask to block out the famous Beijing pollution. <laughs> For pollution. For, for, yes, for pollution. pollution. I like it. Yes, I yes, like it. Or for robbing banks. Or for robbing, robbing banks. banks. Yes, exactly. A few years ago, Canadian Olympic clothing hit gold at the Salt Lake City and Nagano Olympics. Roots poor boy hats and sweaters flew off the shelves. Now HBC is the official supplier. The company says its new line is stylish and functional and the public will love it. Former Olympian Britt Townsend says the design isn't that important. It's winning gold that counts. For me, it was not that important what I wore when I was there. Uh, it's nice to bring things home afterwards, but I think it's going to be fine. So if this is our athlete's new uniform, would the Premier wear it? I'm, I'm not planning to wear it on a regular basis, no. But thanks for asking. <laughs> okay. In North Vancouver, the consensus seems to be it's simply too much. I, you know, I mean, I'm all for the Olympic Games, but I just think the whole thing looks very loud. <laughs>